Peace Project is a very exciting thing for women in agriculture. It will get us together. Uh, women in agriculture is um, probably one of the largest growing parts of agriculture is women are being involved in agriculture, having to make decisions. And so we need education. It's always good to learn new things. We need more youth in agriculture. I think our average age is way too high. Uh, for producing 100% of the food that the people eat and there's only 2% of us doing that. So that's a big challenge for us. I think that Annie's project can help the youth because if there are young women um, in our location in agriculture, they will learn more about agriculture by coming to Annie's project. When I started to hear a little bit about um, the project itself and, and the um, how it originated, it was very interesting to me and plus being in an ag uh, profession, we see it firsthand for the, um, the women that come in that maybe need to have more education in ag issues and finance and things. With Annie's project, um, I've learned uh, some new things about using QuickBooks. I do the ranch books for our operations, so I learned some tips there that I'm sure I'll use. I learned a lot about Facebook and Twitter and uh, how to use those, and Pinterest was very interesting, so the social media. For Annie's project, for me, the best project was reconnecting with a lot of the ag ladies that I've known but you don't see very often in this kind of setting, so that was very nice. I would say my favorite week, boy, would probably be last week. Um, Harriet Hageman was the presenter, and she was fabulous. She hit on really um, hot topics that are very, very much um, near and dear to agriculture's um, interests. She talked about overregulation and how uh, regulation occurs and thought that was very, very interesting. And then she went on to talk to also about uh, conservation easements. Every night was very exciting. I have to be honest, uh, coming off of the end of a hard day and you're facing an, an evening, you know, you're kind of thinking, oh boy, you know, we've got three more hours or something. But every night you get here and it's fun and the time flies by and you're so glad that you came. I really enjoyed the personality um, test and I think that in itself helped a lot of us ladies to be able to um, break out of the, you know, the, the proverbial icebreaker situation, you know, and because there was a lot of them here I didn't, I didn't know at all, <laughs> but I enjoyed getting to know them. I learned a lot about just um, from tonight, for instance, with all of the entrepreneurs that um, and how they got started, and I can see myself kind of following similar footsteps, you know, small steps, and I think the small steps is what's important, and, and that is probably the thing I'll take away from this, is the, is the small steps it takes to make your big step. I think there isn't a single woman in there that you couldn't go to and say, you know, hey, I, I have this specific problem and I'm you know I'm really trying to mow through what's going on and perhaps I can get your input on it and I think they would all give you an input absolutely we did create a whole new network of of support people so it was wonderful <laughs>